Greetings. So this is my April newsletter and it's been a really busy month on my author YouTube channel so if you haven't been there it's Anne Bowditch author and I've had many great guests on there. I've had Denise Davis who's the heart alchemist, Melissa Jolly who is the creator of the amazing colour mirror system and a second chat with Melissa has gone up um, this weekend and um, Melissa is a very entertaining speaker she comes from a very spiritual place but whether you're sort of spiritually inclined or not there's a lot you can take from her messages actually uh, I've had Karani and it's, it's a lovely chat with Karani and um, so many other great guests David Lean who was a victim of the football massive um, child sex abuse scandal um, David's story wasn't heard on the BBC but it was very very relevant to the whole um, scandal really and David was actually told at one point his case would not be going to court because it wasn't in the public interest so the, what they were saying was it was not in the public interest because Benel had been prosecuted already, had served time in prison um, and therefore he had done his time but that wasn't for David's case and it wasn't for many many other cases so a prolific paedophile is always in the public interest always because it is important to protect children and as much as it's um, a topic that really people don't want to talk about I'm open to talking about it because if we don't talk about it it will get buried like it has done for decades and decades and it's such an important subject children need to be protected and it's up to adults to make sure that happens whether it's a school an organization some sort of social club or obviously also within the family sadly so enough of that but it, a very important top, topic nonetheless so check out my youtube channel also um, i'm uploading videos which link with my next book which is coming out on the 23rd of april so 23rd of this month stress is a modern man mental health challenges explained i know i've been speaking about it a little bit but it's nearly there now uh, and i'm really excited about it people keep telling me how important it is that this book is coming out and it really is something that i'm so passionate about I've been asked if I'm writing anything else at the moment. I haven't as yet, but I have something very much on my mind that um, I, I probably will make a start on fairly shortly, at least pen out some, some plans for that book. And um, what else have we had? So on a, a front of work, of my therapy work, uh, what's been interesting is how most people have found the second lockdown incredibly difficult. Um, very very few I think one or two people have sort of found it good other than that everyone struggled just even those people that quite liked it the first time around I think that was a lot to do with the time of year I think it was also to do with the surprise and shock and also perhaps you know in certain situations a feeling of things we can't change in life and and that can be quite depressing for some people and on that subject um, of sort of depression I think it's an important message to get out that if you're ever diagnosed with depression it is really good to look at what might be behind that because from my experience as a therapist depression is not um, so much an imbalance within the brain but issues that are not resolved whether that's a situation you're in currently so if you you feel that you're in a situation which you can't get out of um, where you feel perhaps hopeless or helpless that can definitely cause depression. If you have a history of emotional issues, stresses and traumas, events that have not been resolved, you know, if you've not had any therapy or treatment for those, or you might have had therapy, but possibly not the type of therapy that's really gonna get that sorted for you, then that can cause depression. And also if you suffer any type of health issue, ask yourself a few questions, ask yourself, what's been going on in my life lately what might be linked to this what do i feel really strongly about what's upset me 
or what do I have from the past that has not been resolved? And you might just find a few answers there. And um, so, as I say, my book, The Stress is a Modern Man, is out on the 23rd of April. If you do want a copy from me, signed or otherwise, then please do get in touch at anne at hypnotherapy.gg and you can get in touch with me on that email um, for anything therapy related as well and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And um, going forward we have more great interviews to go out and um, I'm going to show you this month's bottle which is called Grace Under Pressure. It's bottle 29 and if any of you have done colours with me, whether it's been a full on colour sort of grid in session or whether just uh, the occasional bottle within your session, many people have come across this bottle and it often crops up more than once and it's a really big bottle. I talk about the big bottles a lot. So we've got the turquoise over the magenta and this bottle is sort of talking about the challenges, you know, it's saying you came here to experience life in a way that really challenged you. But when you can move beyond the judgment of those situations, of the rights and the wrongs, and also the judgments of yourself, you come to something much better. You, you become more at peace and you start to live a much better life. And that takes work, you know, it's not something that you flip a switch on. And you might be in the middle of that process, or you might be thinking about starting that process or perhaps you're a long way through and you know I, I see clients some people I see on a, a fairly regular basis and it's wonderful to watch how they continue to grow continue to step into their power understand themselves better which means they can use the tools that they pick up from working with me whether it's using color or coming in for for a you know, and if you like a normal therapy session, um, and that you can take that forward in life. You can take it forward into many, many aspects of life because what you learn, you can apply to the, the different areas of life. So it is a big bottle. It really does help make changes. It's amazing what these color bottles do. If you want to find out more about these, as I say, I do have some interviews um, on my YouTube channel, and and that's Grace under pressure as I say, a very big bottle in the system. And so uh, obviously we're in Easter. The other thing um, to finally say is if you look under the actual video in this newsletter, there is a link to some really amazing book offers. So I've joined in with some other authors and um, there's some great books there um, that, that you can purchase. My Energy, the Energy of Anxiety book is there um, at a special price during this period of which these books are on offer. So have a click on the link because actually there's some really, really fabulous books there and I'm probably going to um, get a few myself. So that's the update from me. Uh, I hope you're doing well. You know where I am if ever you need to get in touch and uh, work through some, some challenges. So enjoy the rest of your Easter.